thousands of volunteers in Britain, working day in and day out to keep the show on the road. You may even know someone who's a volunteer. If you don't volunteer right now, keep watching, because we're going to show you what volunteering can do for you. No matter what your age, your background, or your qualifications, no matter if you are unemployed, if you have a long-term illness or a disability, even if you feel you have no skills to offer, you are needed and your contribution will be valued. You can volunteer and get a whole lot out of it. ATTEND is a nationwide organization placing volunteers in a variety of health and social care settings. In the film coming up, you will see just how diverse the range of activities are and how you can get involved as a volunteer, helping others by doing something you enjoy. In the film you just saw, Mike, the volunteer in the wheelchair, was proving that even if you have a long-term illness or disability, you can still volunteer. I'm here with Tina. Tina, how did you get into volunteering? Uh, I have Parkinson's disease. I've had it four years. Mm -hmm. And um, I was inspired by going to the Parkinson's Disease Society Young Persons Weekend Meet because there was a lot of people worse off than me and I knew I could make a difference and I just volunteered. And with Parkinson's Disease Society, we've got the helpline and there's the website, you know, there's always somebody to get a hold of and it's just, they're there and, you know, it's just such a positive thing and it's the rely on volunteers wholly as well. What exactly do you do as a volunteer? I edit the magazine for the young Parkinson's person and I do talks up and down the country. I do talks to nurses, um, students and uh, young people themselves with Parkinson's. What does volunteering do for you? It gives me a great sense of pride, a sense of achievement. Um, makes me feel useful to society. There's days when you feel low that you feel that you're not any use to anybody, especially if you're having a dodgy day where you've, where you've fallen or something and you, it knocks your self-esteem. But then by volunteering, it can boost you again. You know, it makes you think, well, yeah, there is, you know, there is life after Parkinson's. The thing about volunteering is that it can actually improve your quality of life. It can build your confidence, it can help you develop new skills, and it can pave the way for a whole new set of better opportunities for you, just like the volunteer in the film coming up. Paul in the shop mobility film talked about the confidence, the skills, the sense of purpose he gained from volunteering. I'm here with Jamie and Robbie, two volunteers from Thames Reach in London, an organization that offers opportunities to homeless people. Jamie, how did you get off the streets and into volunteering? Um, I was the service user in a day centre in northwest London. Um, members of staff there helped me print in forms, use the telephone. Um, when I then kind of felt more settled within myself, I was um, granted an opportunity to volunteer for them. I really enjoyed it. I've learned many skills I didn't have before, built my confidence, and yes, and now I'm still volunteering. Robbie, what has volunteering done for you? Um, helped me achieve more things that I want to do in life. Uh, achieve goals that I just want to set out for myself. It's given me a boost. It's given me a very big boost in my confidence, my self-worth, because before being on homeless and that, I wasn't, you know, I didn't feel much. What are your hopes for the future? Um, Full-time employment. Um, working in the same sector that I'm trying to volunteer, well, I'm volunteering in now. Um, just, that's it really, just a full-time job. That's all I really, really want. Jamie? Um, I've just applied for a traineeship. Um, the application form filling in was just very difficult and I didn't know at the end of it how much work experience I've actually gathered just through volunteering. And how does that make you feel? Yeah, it's very empowering. Um, I'm looking forward to hopefully being accepted with this traineeship. I feel very, very good about myself and I'm very grateful for the support I got from these different day centres and all the initiatives that helped me through my rough years as a homeless person. And now I just want to contribute and give it all back and it makes me feel good. Some organizations just couldn't function without their volunteers. And there's a lot of satisfaction to be had from being an important part of a team, like the volunteers at the Newcastle Dog and Cat Shelter. 
Volunteering can be a vital way of supporting your own community. You can help by just being there, to talk, to listen, to share, to understand, just like the volunteer in the following film. <laughs> Pav, you've been volunteering since you were 15 years old. Tell me about that. My school were organising an event for old pensioners mm. and it was a, a hot pot dinner mm. for old, old age pensioners and I just thought, well, that could be quite fun. And, and that was it really, that, that started me off. But which 15 year old is actually volunteering, helping other people? Well, you know, I, I suppose it's because it's people in my community yes. and, and it was around a time where young people were getting a really bad press for mm. misbehaving mm. and so forth. And I thought it was an opportunity to let people really see that not all young people are bad, yes. that we have many positive things to contribute mm. and that we are actually quite nice. <laughs> what kind of volunteering have you done since then? I've done a mixed bag. I've done lots of work on anti-racism. I've done sports stuff. A um, whole load of community stuff, but you know, it's always been about engaging people in my community, yes. making sure that there's that dialogue going, and that we are engaging and understanding one another. Do you have any role models? I suppose being part Indian, part Pakistani, um, Gandhi's always been a significant role model in, in my life, mm. in family, in my family's life. Yes. And, and one of the Gandhi's mottos was, "Be the change you want to see in the world." You know, you have the capacity to make this world a better place if you want it to be a better yes. place. And that's what volunteering does for me. That's why engaging in my community is important to me. What has volunteering given you personally? On a personal level, it's given me access to you know a great sense of myself in terms of confidence in my own abilities, just getting a sense of the breadth and depth of my own abilities. You know, I'm really talented and before, before volunteering and getting involved in these activities, I didn't really know what I was capable of. What would you say to somebody who isn't volunteering right now but who's thinking about it? You absolutely have to do it. You know, I always say make your contribution, find an interest, that you, something that you're passionate about, pursue it, make the most of it, be the change you want to see in this world. Time banking is volunteering for the 21st century. Time Banks UK operates all over the country and the idea is that it's like a bank. You help someone and you get credits. When you want to spend those credits, you get another volunteer to help you. Whatever you need. It could be dog walking, financial advice or even a computer tutorial. Everybody wins. Volunteers are everywhere and now you know why you should do it. You can build your confidence, you can learn new skills, and you can feel part of a community. You don't need qualifications to become a volunteer. You don't even need specific skills. It doesn't matter what your age is, what your background is, or even your ability. You can do this, and you can get a whole lot back in return. It's all about you. That's why you should volunteer. It's one of the reasons I'm a volunteer too.